What would you like to see the next president doing with respect to global health? AIDS, malaria, um, types of pandemic kinds of issues that really need to worry about, and then some basic level of health. Now, it gets a little presumptuous to be talking about health around the world when we've got a health care system in this country which uh, spends $2 trillion a year. Now, that's a great business. We employ a lot of people. We do a lot of exciting things. We still have to solve some of our own health care problems, but there is much we can do for a very small amount of money around the world. What is the connection with corporate role, the private sector that you mentioned? Well, I think the great preponderance of the money that you would use on global health could come out of the private sector. In what way? Well, I mean, first of all, uh, if you just think about the issues on AIDS and malaria, that it's, it's simple to pass a bill and say we're going to spend X number of dollars on vaccinations or, or on AIDS drugs. When you, you know what the Gates Foundation figured out with all of their investment in that, which is huge, is they didn't have a delivery system. Who's delivering in Africa now all the inoculations? Coca-Cola Company. Mm -hmm. Because they have refrigerated trucks going around many, many places where there's no, no other means of transportation. We make all sorts of assumptions. Well, we can have drugs that need to be refrigerated. Where are they going to refrigerate them? That, that, we, that there are logistic and transportation systems around the globe that we have here. Not true. On this connection with the Coca-Cola trucks and the refrigeration, what's the role of the president in pulling that together? What's the role of the president in any international thing is to be a, a moral leader, to be a force in this country in, in pressing the Congress and the regulatory agencies and the important agencies of government to take a, a rational role in what's going on.